Hey guys, so we are still here, still pregnant, waiting for this baby to show up any day now, but in the meantime, we are stocking up on all of our food essentials and skincare essentials. And a big one that we love to have on hand that we recently finished is our tallow magnesium lotion. So we're gonna dive into why we love tallow magnesium lotion and how you can make it at home. Okay, so we actually have done a previous video on how to make tallow magnesium lotion, but we have since updated the recipe because we realized some things um, over the last year or so with how to improve this recipe. So this is the new and improved tallow magnesium lotion recipe. So we love having magnesium in our skincare products specifically because magnesium is so, so, so crucial to the body. It's a mineral that is the first mineral that's depleted when you're under stress. And so I think we can all relate, right? In our modern lifestyle, stress happens and we are all regularly under stress and magnesium is gonna be the first mineral that's depleted. So we wanna make sure we're stocking up on our magnesium stores because most people are deficient in magnesium and it's just not found in the soils and in our food the way that maybe it had in previous generations um, as our soils have become depleted. And magnesium is also important because it's involved in 500 reactions in the body and it's just super, super important for things like sleep and just well-being of a healthy metabolism and a healthy body. All right, so to make magnesium lotion at home, it's a really pretty simple process. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna make your magnesium oil or your magnesium water. And so what this is, is just a blend of warm, heated up water with magnesium flakes. So my favorite flakes are these Ancient Minerals Magnesium Bath Flakes. So we buy these in bulk and I love to have these on hand. Um, and so it's just a half a cup of your magnesium flakes that you're gonna mix in with warm water. So I had this water heating up on the stove for a while, so it's not boiling, but it's plenty hot. You're gonna pour that in and just mix it together so that the magnesium flakes dissolve. And then you're gonna set that to the side. Okay, and then you're gonna make your oil mixture. So essentially how you make magnesium lotion is you're gonna do an emulsification between your oil mixture and, so that's like the tallow mixture that I talked about, and then with your magnesium water here. And so in your oil mixture, we love to use tallow in our skincare. So we're gonna do a half a cup of tallow. Okay, so we have lots of videos and things where we talk about why we love tallow and skincare. We have lots of products that we use tallow in. It's just so compatible with the skin, so, so beneficial for the skin. Um, and so I'll link some of those resources below and also a video on how you can render tallow yourself at home so it's odorless um, because you definitely don't want that beefy smell in your lotion. And so this doesn't need to be exact, but roughly a half a cup of tallow. And then you're gonna add, um, Okay, so this is the difference between my previous recipe and this one. So in my previous recipe, I added a tablespoon of beeswax, and that worked okay. It made a nice, thick, creamy lotion, but we noticed that over time, the magnesium water started seeping out of the lotion. And as I did more research, I realized that that beeswax isn't exactly a true emulsifier for that oil and the water to hold them together. And so when I was researching other natural emulsifiers, um, candelilla um, wax was one that kept coming up. And so that is what we are using in this recipe. So candelilla is candelilla wax is from the plants, from the leaves of a plant that is grown in southern United States and Mexico. Um, and they use the wax from this leaves to make this wax, which is a much, um, which is a better emulsifier for skincare products than beeswax ten tends to be. So candelilla wax is harder, firmer, more dense than beeswax, which is a softer wax. And so this absorbs quickly and it's just found to be a better emulsifier to hold that water and oil together better. So we're gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of this. And I will have the full blog post below so that you can have the, the full instructions there. Okay, and then I like to add either cocoa butter or shea butter just to give it some richness and creaminess. 
And so I'm gonna do two tablespoons of this as well. And so this is, they're already kind of um, measured out for me here. So five or six of these guys is about two tablespoons. And then we're gonna add three tablespoons of olive oil. And so olive oil really helps to be mixed with tallow in skincare. We have another recipe for our tallow balm that's a tallow with olive oil because um, at room temperature, tallow is gonna be solid. And so the olive oil is just gonna help give it a nice, smooth, creamy texture to make it able to be rubbed onto skin. Um, just pure tallow would be pretty hard. Okay, so now that all of this is measured out, we're gonna go ahead and we wanna melt it. So we're gonna create a water bath by heating this in warm water in a pot um, until all of this is melted. All right, so after your oil mixture is all melted, you're gonna go ahead and emulsify your magnesium water into your oil mixture here. Um, my favorite way to do this is just with an immersion blender. So you're gonna slowly pour your water into your oil here while blending with this. Alternatively, if you don't have an immersion blender, you could use a food processor or a blender on like low power, but you just, low power works best for emulsifying and you just wanna trickle in the magnesium water slowly, don't like pour it all, all at once to emulsify it in. Our magnesium lotion is now emulsified, our water has emulsified with our oil, and we have a nice, smooth, thick, creamy lotion here. So from here, you can go ahead, you can put this into jars that you can store and use. My favorite way to use magnesium lotion is to apply on my legs and my feet before bed. It really, really helps to have a good quality night's sleep I've found, and it's also safe for kids, so we use this for our whole family. I'd like to rub it on their feet and legs before bed as well. You don't have to worry about it being like a crazy high amount of magnesium or anything like that, because really in this lotion, you're just getting kind of an extra boost to help restore some of those depleted amounts, but it's not, it's not anything excessive, and so, that is how you make magnesium lotion at home. We highly recommend it. Magnesium is such, such an important mineral to be getting into your diet and into your body. And so this is a great way to do it. So thanks so much for stopping by the farmstead today and we'll see you next time.